always I've always had an issue with this thing starting. I've always had an issue with it just dying mid go. It's always died on left turns. <laughs> left turn, go right. I don't know what that's about. They were just going straight and now we're dead again. It's not fun anymore. I'm not having fun. Alright guys, alright we're off to do some snow removal. The kids are hitting the paths right now, all the pathways to everything, they got to carve out a pathway. We got like 8 inches of snow last night, the sun is popping up right now and it's blue skies and it is, it is beautiful out here. We gotta run up and down the road a few times in the truck, smashing down the snow. We have like eight inches of snow, which is quite a bit. The last time I did this, uh, the truck hit a bump and then died. <laughs> and it died, which is not cool. We need to keep moving in this stuff. I don't have great snow tires on this thing. And I have, um, I have chains somewhere but I have no clue where they're at I forget where I put them so that doesn't do me any good so we kind of got to just keep moving on this stuff use our momentum to get through it um, it's it's big and powdery looks like we're moving through pretty good but what we'll do is just kind of go up and down the road a few times and smash this stuff down and then that just allows it um, it makes it a lot easier for Shelby to get out and her little SUV because it doesn't have the ground clearance that this does. Oh, we just died. <laughs> this truck, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna do my best guys to make it not bumpy, but this truck is a stiff ride for one. And for two, I'm holding you. I don't have any stabilization, so. You get me as good as I can get it. We're doing pretty good though. This is really light snow. I'm not even fighting to get through it. And we're going pretty slow. We're doing like, we're doing like five miles an hour. So stupid.
What? If you need a hottie for anything, I have hottie. Thanks, friend. I don't need no hottie. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I left you alone in the truck, but now we're in the engine compartment. You guys are in the, you're sitting on top of the motor right now. The truck kept dying on me. Uh, I'd turn hard left and it would die and die and die and it's having a harder time cranking over. So we're back uh, trying to fix all of our connections. So we're using a little piece of sandpaper to just hit all of our metal connections on the battery area. I don't know if this is the problem, but that's what we're doing. Miss McKinley's down here helping me. Hi. She was just working hard. Um, shoveling some snow. Everyone's trying to take care of snow today. So I'm hitting all my terminals and all my connectors. Uh, hopefully this works. I don't know why it's continuing to die. It'll just, like if I hit a bump, it dies. If I turn the steering wheel hard to the left, it dies, which makes me nervous. And usually it does that as I'm coming to a stop. So we're getting everything kind of cleaned up, which has been a while, so it's probably due for it. Getting sandpaper in here. Um, this is actually like a sanding cloth, finished cloth. It's got a good grit to it though. It's cleaning this up pretty good. So if we are having a lack of connection, this is gonna help solve it. And then hopefully we can get going and get up the road. We've got, let's see, we went up and down three times. Died every time. So we've got about six passes on the road. Probably going to need, I would say, three more to have it completely flat. Um, and looking like it had been pushed. Because there's quite a bit of snow. So hopefully we can get this stuff cleaned up real well. They make a nice cheap tool for this, for cleaning your terminals. I don't have one. And every time I go to the store, automotive store, I see it and I say, you know what, I need one of those. And I never grab one. And I probably won't grab one the next time because now I'm out here trying to fix it with sandpaper. And so I'll think, oh, I don't need it. I already fixed it. But then you probably need it again. All right, so. All our connections are cleaned off. So we're cleaning off our studs, we're cleaning off our terminals, um, our connectors. I've got this ground wire disconnected from here and so we're cleaning off this nut, cleaning off that little area down there as well. We're just getting everything cleaned off. All right, so we got everything hooked back together. Let's see if we do well. Start it up. So normally my battery gauge will dance just a little bit. Uh, it seems to be holding holding well. Normally it kind of flicks, ticks, and then bruh, bruh, and dies, which is a complete pain in the butt. And I don't know what the problem can be. It would cause it to die during a hard turn. That seems weird to me, but I don't know anything about cars, trucks, trains, automobiles, none of that stuff. Uh, it's a little pain in the butt, man. Hard turns turn off my truck. What is that about? Well, we'll take it all the way up and down the road one more time. Just go real easy. Try not to make any hard turns. Just worry that we'll get down here in the middle of the road and then we won't be starting up anymore. It makes me nervous. We're dying again. We might be dying more than we did last time. Not good. Not good. And Shelby actually let me know that she needs to get out in a little bit. She's got to go show property, which means uh, I don't have the luxury of just saying, well, truck's not working. We'll just be snowed in. I got to get her out of here. 
So we got to, we, I mean, I need to make a couple more passes on this road. I'm trying to go so slow. I know there's a couple of bumps underneath, potholes underneath all of this snow. And I'm trying to avoid them. But I'm also trying to clear the road, which means I got to hit them. We died again. Left turn, killed it again. We died. Guys, there's what it looks like when it's all done. Looks plowed, looks good, it's nice and flat. You can see that there's plenty of room to drive. Just driving on it packs it all down. We went from, you can see right here, went from eight inches to flat. <clears throat> so the road's pretty good. I don't want to take my truck out on the road too much because I don't want it to die out there. But we've got a bunch of other snow removal to do. Uh, we got to, uh, we got to make a path to the outhouses. Got to make a path out to the chicken coop. Got to make a path out to the animals. You can see the kids. The kids have kind of started on it. Got some paths out there. Uh, but that's what today is going to be, is getting these paths smoothed out so that we can walk around. So we'll get started on that. Well, we are done, finally. You guys can see we've got chicken coop. Got us a road. Got a road going this way, through here. This way the kids can grab grain, come through to the chicken coop, walking through here. Got the sled mound. The hoogle bed became a sledding hill. Nothing wrong with a snow day. Deegan helped out, kids helped out. Shelby had to take off. Deegster finished up. And uh, now he's doing some sledding. Got this area all shoveled out. This is out by the pig area. We want to keep the chute uh, shoveled out, cleared out, so it just doesn't become hard to walk. And if at any point we need to trailer an animal or load something up, it's not like, well, we can't. We're going to walk through the snow. Just kind of being prepared for that. Got the grain area back here, right there. Now I can go to grain without fighting snow. And the pathway comes across right there. I'm going to walk past it, though cleared out this area over here and it's all starting to melt from the trees so it's hitting all this stuff down here got the hay area all bit up I gotta do that gate right there gotta keep this gate clear right there so I shovel all the snow down here move it away this gate right here didn't make it it's all snowed in it had a bunch of grass and stuff in front of it that actually froze so it prevented it from opening up we just didn't get to it in time which is all right. It turned out to be a beautiful day, man. The sky opened up, clouds turned blue. It was pretty cool. Walking in the driveway, you guys can see the driveway. It looks as though a snow plow came through here. See, it's nice. It's all nice all the way around. Easy and drivable. We're walking next to the cabin. First time over here. Looks like this could be touched up. The girls were working on this earlier. I like my trails to be crisp. Nice and cut away. Yeah, they did a horrible job. These little turds. <laughs> uh, outhouses. Hate when the outhouse door gets left open. But uh, all of this is all cleared out. Back behind the cabin door there, you can see it gets cleared out as well. We just try to make these trails. Now this year, uh, these trails are probably not even gonna be needed because everything seems to hit, snow seems to fall, and then go away. Uh, usually it stays, you know, and those trails become, you know, your lifeline. <laughs> You're maintaining them and walking, and you know, there's snow banks next to you all year round, but not this time, I guess. 
Well guys, that is, uh, that's how we do snow removal when you don't have tools to remove the snow, you know, just grabbing shovels and, and doing it. It's hard work. It's tough work, but you know, your snow plow goes down, your snow blower breaks, got to resort to a shovel. So we just skip a few, skip a few steps, get to the shovel, but it's good. It's hard work. Keeps you, uh, Keeps you in shape, keeps you strong on the homestead. You can actually feel your cardio building because shoveling snow makes your heart just thumpity thump pump. Ruby didn't have to do any snow removal. She just sits here and gets fed, gets fat. Look at Merlot, she's starting to get round. Little red wattle baby's coming soon. All right guys, well, that is it. Thank you for watching. We're still struggling with the truck. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions on what the problem could be, why that uh, thing is, is dying when I turn a corner, let me know. There's definitely something loose. I don't know what it is. I checked the, I checked the wires into the steering column, wiggled them, and it didn't turn off. So I don't think it's the wires underneath the steering column. Don't know. Let me know in the comments. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Whoa, big sis. Look how beautiful that goat is. Black ears, black face. That is a pretty goat. If I had a bunch of goats like that, I'd keep them all. Pretty, pretty. You're goofy looking.